So artists, we're going to be working on drawing self-portraits. And the way we get started with a portrait is we draw a nice big oval. It doesn't have to be perfect because most of this oval is going to get erased. After we draw the oval, you draw very, very lightly a line that goes in the center of that oval. And that line tells us where we're going to put our eyes. Eyes are very easy to draw. Eyes are like almonds. We're going to draw two lines, an arch line, another arch line, an arch line, another arch line. And now we have our eyes. We're going to take the bottom half of this oval and the nose and the mouth are going to go here. So I look and I say the nose is going to be about here and the mouth is going to be about here. So I want to leave space for from the chin to the mouth, from the mouth to the nose, from the nose to the eyes. I just put these little lines because that's just going to tell me where the nose and the mouth is going to go. A nose is three bumps. Bump one. And I kind of start right at the edge of the eye. Bump two. Bump three. Now I have two nostrils. I have the middle part of the nose. Now here is where I'm going to draw the lips. And I'm going to start the lips a lot like how I started the eyes. I'm going to draw almost like a big eye shape here. And then what I can actually do is just erase a little bit right here to make that little indentation. And then draw a line across. So you're going to be using pencil. I'm using a dry erase just so you can see the, a lot of the lines that I'm, I want to put down quickly and then be able to erase. I can finish out the eyes by erasing that line, drawing a complete circle. And this is the iris of the eye where you have the color and then there's a black part, the pupil of your eye. And now your eyebrow is going to be a little bit above your eye, so you want to give it some space. You don't want to put it right touching your eye. A nice thick line that follows the same curve as the top of the eye. Now I can erase the rest of this eye line. I don't need that anymore. But I'm going to use the eyebrow and the nose to figure out where the ear should be. So I'm going to start at the edge of the eyebrow and move my pencil over to the edge of the face and that's where my ear is going to start and my ear is going to stop right where the tip of the nose would be. So I draw this kind of half peanut shape in this area. I can put a little detail in it. Our ears are kind of wrinkly and detailed. So that's the basic face. Now I need a few more things. I need a neck and I need hair. So we're, we're getting close to done, but we're not there yet. The hairline is going to be about the middle part here. So this whole space here is going to be forehead and then the hair. So I'm going to just draw kind of that line that curves, and that's where the hairline is going to be. The head actually goes a little bit wider up here. So if I want to get really advanced with this and make this a really sophisticated portrait, I'm actually going to widen the head just a little bit right here. And then I can erase all this. And now this is where I'm going to put in the hair. So if I am drawing a female, so for girls out there, since it's a self-portrait, you're going to be putting in how your hair looks however you have it today. So if it's up, if it's down, that's going to affect how we draw it. So my hair is down, so I'm going to draw like my hair is down. I'm going to actually put the neck in so I know where I want to end the hair. So the neck is kind of wide. I, I a lot of times see lollipop necks, which means we draw them super, super skinny. If you feel your neck and compare it to how wide your face is, it's pretty close. The neck's a little bit thinner, but not that much. And it's not that long. So it goes um, just a couple inches and then the shoulders are nice and broad. The shoulders are typically the widest part of our body. So now I have the neck, I have the shoulders. Now I can decide, is my hair going in front of my shoulders? And if it is, then I can just erase this. I can have the hair going behind the shoulders on this side. And hair is just lines. The more lines you add, the more it's going to look like actual hair. So a lot of times we have a part in our hair and that's where the hair starts going in different directions. 
So on this side, the hair might be going down this direction. And then starting here, it might go on di this direction. You're using your mirror to help you find out what direction your hair is going. I also want to finish it off with what I'm wearing. So I'm going to look in the mirror and I'm going to see what does the collar of my shirt look like. I can add a little bit of detail. And then when I'm here, I'm pretty much done with my portrait. I can add additional details, I can add color, and that's all optional. But this is the basics of drawing a self-portrait. What I'm going to do is I'm going to erase some of this and now I'm going to draw different types of hair because some of you might not have hair like this. Well, I know some of you definitely don't have hair like this. So we're going to do some maybe some shorter hair and some curly hair so we can learn and practice drawing our hair. We'll do some updos because however your hair is changes how you have to draw it. So I'm just going to erase all this. And what are we going to do? Let's see. Let's do some let's do some short hair. So I'm putting the head back in because I erased part of my head. Okay. So the same thing, short hair, depends how the hair looks. If it's straight hair, it's straight lines. Lots of straight lines. You fill in this whole area with straight lines. You can layer with a pencil. Since I'm using a dry erase, when I try to layer the hair, it just erases it. But just remember, the more lines you do, the more it actually will start to look like hair. So short straight lines are good for short straight hair. Long straight lines are good for long straight hair. We're going to erase that, do another hairstyle. So curly hair, let's do some short and long curly hair. So curly hair is wavy lines. And depending upon how your curls look, the lines might be very wavy or just a little bit. So you start kind of the same way. It's, I'm just drawing wavy lines. The more lines I put, the more it's going to look like hair. So I'm looking in the mirror, I'm seeing, do I have a part where are these lines coming out of my head? What direction are they going? And the more lines I put, the more it's actually going to look like hair. So shorter curly hair. I'm actually just going to erase her long hair. So I start the same exact way. So it's just wavy lines, but instead of going all the way down to the shoulders, I stop where the hair stops. So short hair, short lines. Okay, the last hairstyle I'm going to do is going to be an updo. So sometimes we wear our hair in ponytails or buns, and then it definitely changes how we would draw our hair. All right, so I'm putting the head back in, the forehead. So if I have maybe a bun, and if in the mirror, if I see the bun, I can draw the shape of the bun. And now all the hair is getting pulled towards that bun. So what happens with the hair is it's going in the direction of the bun. So I'm drawing the hair. And you can see this on your own head. You can see this with the highlights and the lowlights. You're going to see the hair is going in that direction. And again, I'm going to say it. The more lines you add here, the more it's going to look like hair. So 
So if you were going to do a ponytail, it's kind of the same. Instead of maybe having the lines go in this direction, maybe if you see the, the ponytail holder, the hair would just... I'll draw a little ponytail. So maybe you just see a little bit of a ponytail holder, and then you just see the hair going in different directions out of the ponytail holder. And it might just look like this. Maybe the ponytail is going to come around your shoulder because your hair is very long. So this is when you're using the mirror. So it's very easy to draw hair because all it is is drawing lines. And I've seen you all draw lines many, many times before. I want to remind you, you draw light until you get it right. And when it comes to drawing portraits, a lot of times we draw lines that we don't need, that we have to erase, and that's part of the process. So we don't get frustrated, we don't get upset. If we draw a line that's incorrect, it helps us know where the correct line is. We say, oh, that line, it should have been higher, it should have been lower. So we actually learn something from that. It gives us immediate feedback. So you remember when I started, I drew the eye line, I drew a line for the nose, I drew a line for the lips, and those aren't part of my finished product. Um, so a lot of times we do draw lines that we don't end up needing, and that's just how, how we learn to draw, and it helps us put the proportions, which means the size relative to something else. So I want the eyes to be the right size compared to how big the nose is or how big the mouth is. So those adding those extra lines helps me do that. So now if I'm at this point and I feel really fancy, I can add additional details. Maybe I want beautiful eyelashes. Maybe I want to add some earrings. Maybe I want to add the logo on my favorite shirt. So you're at this point, you get to get really creative with your self-portrait. I can't wait to see them. Thank you so much.